Hello friends, it's uh, it's me again. I'm uh, with a friend this time. Uh, this is Isaiah. Uh, we're uh, we're going up to Emperor Mountain on a backpacking trip. We'll uh, be hammocking actually, which will be my first time uh, hammocking, but he's gonna show me the ropes on how to do that. But uh, it should be a, a great trip. So we were hiking along, uh, we just got past Peden Lake and what do you know, we found a bit of snow and I think there's some more up there or something, but like it's November and we never get snow in November. So this is, this is wild. <laughs> I, I, I literally can't believe it. What are your thoughts? <laughs> That's definitely strange. We'll see what it's like at the peak. Oh yeah, totally. Uh, yeah, I already see more up there, so we'll see. <laughs> So, we definitely got quite a bit more uphill than we had before, and uh, the, uh, the terrain's gotten a little more intense, but uh, it's definitely a good little workout and a beautiful trail. But uh, we got to the top of some type of viewpoint, and uh, it's looking pretty nice. There's a, a lot more snow going on. Um, so we'll probably have quite a bit more when we get to the top of Emperor, but uh, it's uh, it's looking pretty nice. And uh, I'm definitely a little tired now because we've been hiking for a while and it's mostly been uphill, but it's it's been a great, great journey so far. We're just trying to refuel and hopefully find somewhere to get water before we camp for the night. So what I'm doing here is I'm, uh, I got a water filter here, which is a squeeze one. And uh, this literally just filters the water and then it's completely drinkable. And, uh, this one, I normally use a pump one, but this one uh, Isaiah was uh, awesome and uh, let me try it out. So we were able to uh, identify that it is cauliflower mushroom. So we, we found some more and we're gonna harvest some uh, for some dinner tonight but uh make sure to do it ethically and not destroy anything but that's a, a good little crop it should taste awesome oh yeah that should be awesome be enough oh yeah totally well we're uh we're getting there we're almost pretty close to the top at least uh we got a really nice view at this point so i figured I'd just give you a little look see but uh there's a lot more snow up here um but uh yeah it's still lots of sunlight at this point and beautiful view
Yeah, so we found some uh, dead wood and we're uh, going to make a pretty cool campfire. So we're just uh, cutting it up right now. But it's definitely some uh, hot, tiring work. Oh, yeah. But Isaiah's a champ at it and just cutting through it like it's nothing. Well, we've set up tent, or the hammocks, just over down there. And uh, I had like a nice farmer sausage uh, snack, and now we're just cutting some uh, some logs and stuff and gonna build a fire soon. Um, he's just working away down there, but uh, it's definitely getting a bit colder, so we're putting on down jackets and stuff like that, but we're Gonna have a good night. So we're just uh, building a fire right now. Building it from a little guy and then we'll slowly add bigger uh, sections to it. But it's a pretty cold evening so we're definitely needing this fire. Um, the fire starter is just a bit of cotton ball and Vaseline, and that, uh, gets a great flame going, especially even from, like, a few strikes of, like, a, a flint and steel, but if you got a lighter or something, it'll definitely, uh, get your fire going really good. But, um, looks like it's starting to catch the wood a bit. It's just, uh, slowly building it up, and, uh... Making it bigger and bigger. Uh, this will be very nice. So we're uh, frying up some mushrooms right now and putting some uh, sausage in as well. And uh, it seems to be working pretty well actually. I had my doubts, but uh, it's, uh, it's got a very nice frying sound at the moment. And uh, those mushrooms are starting to look really nice. Well, it's time to make dinner. Um, we'll see if I can do this one-handed, but I'm, uh, I got an IMP. Uh, chili in my uh, in my uh, jet boil here, so I'm just gonna get this going. I don't have a ton of fuel, but we'll uh, let's see if I've got enough. There we go. Uh, Isaiah's making chili over there as well actually but we didn't even plan that we're just both eating chili but, uh, yeah this shouldn't take too long to heat up um, find that the jet oil goes super fast when it needs to heat up the water and I didn't put too much in either so it should uh, heat it up really quickly a minute and it's already uh starting to boil it's, uh i'm, I'm coming still, out the holes still waiting <laughs> and uh his definitely hasn't started cook uh boiling yet but uh I, my food should be ready in probably another 30 seconds or something like that but yeah it's really really going now
I could honestly even probably turn it down or turn it off at this point and then just let the well I got the uh, the chili in there um, let's see if we can look inside it without creating too much of a shadow and then I uh, got some bread here as well definitely doesn't look too appetizing but I'm really hungry so anything will be great right now <laughs> Well, I was still super hungry after the chili, so now I'm making ramen. So I, I guess the water's boiling now, so I'll throw those in, let them cook, and then I'll have a nice bowl of ramen. Oh yeah, the ramen's starting to, it's almost there, but it's, uh, it's looking really good at this point. Well, I'm in my hammock, and I'm surprisingly warm, actually. Um, but I've never used the sleeping bag I'm in, or the hammock. Um, and then the, the under quilt is my, uh, my friend's, actually. But I'm a lot warmer than I thought I'd be. We're actually sleeping side by side. There's his hammock, like, right above me, basically. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good right now, and... I think we're gonna have a great night, and I'm excited to give my thoughts on uh, how I slept in the, the morning. Um, but I'm uh, lighting myself with this, uh, it's called the BioLite Sunlight. I've never actually gotten to really use it before because um, I'm always using my headlamp, but my headlamp died or it ran super low on battery, so I'm trying to save it so I can charge it or whatever, but... Um, yeah, I'm excited to actually get to use all these products because, like, I'm so used to using, like, one or two things and just chilling in the tent all the time. But it's it's really nice to kind of try different things and see what's the best fit for me and just kind of experiment. Because I think being out in the woods is all about experimenting and really figuring out who you are and what makes you happy. Got a little rave going on in my hammock right now. I put my BioLite sunlight to party mode and <laughs> but uh it's 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 kind of fun. It's 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 definitely a vibe just chilling here with the different lights and just honestly listening to nothing because the the forest is so quiet. But it's it's nice cuz like I'm in bed but like I'm tired but not but it's nice having my little rave before I go to bed. <laughs>